Well, my name is David Williams, and I'm an associate research professor here in the School of Earth and Space Exploration at Arizona State University. What I do for research is basically planetary geology and volcanology. So I study the surfaces of the other planets of the solar system using the data that's returned by NASA's robotic spacecraft. I would say my uh, favorite fictional character when I was a child was probably Mr. Spock from the original Star Trek TV series. And, uh, you know, I could relate to him because he was sort of a loner, an outsider, and I very much felt that way as a child, being feeling like I was different from a lot of my other friends. And it was through Star Trek that I really developed my interest in space science, and that's directly related to me be getting into the career in space science that I have today. The piece of science fiction that most inspires me is the Star Trek TV shows and movies. And just watching those characters as they explored strange new worlds really inspired me into wanting a career in space science. Uh, I went on to, uh, to Indiana University where I got a bachelor's degree in astrophysics. But as I was working on that degree, I realized I didn't really want to start, study stars or galaxies or any of that far out stuff. I wanted to study planets rocky planets, planets that the Star Trek crew visited. And that's when I found out there was a whole subdivision of the field of geology called planetary geology, which was the study of the planets of the solar system using NASA spacecraft data. What made me want to become a scientist, I would say it's just the whole concept of trying to understand why things are the way that they are. So with me, science and science fiction have always been hand in hand. There was a Star Trek program, TV program, or movie on each step of my career, through high school, through undergrad, through my master's program, my doctoral program, and even as I was a postdoc. So all of those things together sort of really made me curious uh, about wanting to understand the universe and uh, what's it all made up of. In the opening scene of Star Trek Into Darkness, Spock enters an active volcano and uses a device that flash freezes the lava to stop it from fully erupting. Are there any flaws to this speculative technology, and if so, what actions would be required to successfully stop a volcano? To be honest, this is not possible. <laughs> Cold fusion was the name of the device that Spock used in Star Trek Into Darkness, and there is actually past research has been done on this topic of cold fusion, basically trying to generate the energy that is produced on the sun, but under very cold conditions. And most of that research is, is very equivocal. It's, it's not certain that it's actually going to be useful for anything. But what we do try and do is put seismometers or other instruments around active volcanoes and volcanic regions to try and understand the ebb and flow of the volcanic materials when it seems likely an eruption might occur so that we can warn the nearby population to evacuate. And this has been successfully done for several volcanic eruptions in the last 15 to 20 years. 